Hey there everybody, Big Money Salvi here, but today you can call me Teacher Eric because we're all going to learn about net neutrality and why it's got to go. No, I, I mean it. I, I'm, I'm fucking sick of net neutrality. And just in case you don't know what that is, I got a definition here. Net neutrality is the principle that internet service providers and governments regulating most of the internet must treat all data on the internet the same and not discriminate or charge differentially by user, content, blah, 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 blah. For instance, under these principles, internet service providers are unable to intentionally block, slow down, or charge money for specific websites and online content. Well, that's all well and good, but here's my issue, folks. It's 2017. It's time to start paying for your fucking websites. Now, for you poor people, that's that's gonna suck, but for me, you know I'm ready to slap down some extra dollar roonies each month, especially if it means I get to keep tweeting pictures of me eating popsicles all weird to the FCC chairman. Got this one queued up, actually. Hey bro, I'm coming off of years of tweeting to Ted Cruz, so I'm really trying not to make fun of how you look or act, so why don't you just charge me $2.99 in insult and we can both get our nut off here. And premium package tweet! <laughs> I wonder what happens when a country doesn't have net neutrality. Here's what happens when a country doesn't have net neutrality. Oh, okay, well, that sounds like an answer to my question. Let's check it out. The basic principle of net neutrality ah, is Ah, shit, hard nope, it's just another one of these robot voice channels. If you pay a few euros per month, you just get to use messaging apps a bit more, and you can use Facebook more or perhaps Netflix more. This is what YouTube's gonna look like for poor people in a couple years, so let's leave a comment to welcome them. Yo, the doctor is in! Dr. Money Stacks, that is! I just got off the phone with Netflix and they're gonna sell me a subscription package that lets me creep my dick into the frame from the bottom corner while you're trying to watch a movie. And you have to click on it to make it go away. This is a truly lucrative deal for the both of us. But if we're being honest, I hate showing my dick to strangers online, but I also believe in an open and free internet. That's what is most important here, is that we keep the internet open and free and that I'm allowed to pay extra money to have the tip of my two guy visible in the corner of the screen while you're trying to watch Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed hosted by Mitch Pileggi. Also, by the way, if you're trying to play season two of The Walking Dead after next month, it's just going to be a video of me giving birth to a stuffed cat. And cha-ching! Hey, you know what else sucks about net neutrality? All the gamers are mad about it, so now the whole argument's gonna smell like onions. Why net neutrality is important to gamers? Uh, there's one thing I know gamers like, it's a good old friendly fire check. And... Friendly, fire! Um... Are you mad we called you a border bunny? Yep, friendly fire's on. Net neutrality is the idea that everything on the internet is treated the same. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, they all have a level playing field. Why the fuck do you see him coming, you faggot? What if access to one website was much slower or difficult than another website? Yeah, I'll just pay extra for it. What if Amazon had a monopoly over internet speed? I will pay for that. And what about latency in online gaming? Lag. With net neutrality laws gone, what would stop ISPs with their newfound freedom from charging extra for a special low latency, lag free I'm just action? going to pay for it! Let us know down in the comments what aspects of this you care about. Alright, well in the future, a comment like this might buy me a summer beach house. Hey, nobody wants a free and open internet more than me, but let's be honest, poor people are ruining it for everyone else. If we can just corral all the poor people into one tiny little slum of bare bones websites, it'll be easier for us actual contributing folk to feel safe letting our kids run around at lightning fast speeds. Also, with all the money we pay into the system, we can make sure the lower income sections are more heavily policed with fines and bandwidth meters. So either way, they'll be spending like a middle class household in no time. Once they go into debt and can't pay their internet bill, we nab them for illegally downloading TV shows and then cut their service, leaving them virtually homeless and no longer our problem, except for the debt that they'll have levied from their paychecks. Oh shit, wait, this was a YouTube comment? Man, that whole time I thought I was on the phone with my lawyer. Great, now I gotta pay this YouTube channel to disable their comment section. All of you can eat a cat out of my ass. Go Astro. Sincerely, Jim Verizon. And post! Oops, ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that one. Moving along, even though I still think net neutrality is stupid and outdated, I'm willing to listen to the other side for the sake of being objective. But I want to hear some real pointed truths here from respected journalists. What we got? The Young Turks. That's eh, close enough. And play. Now, Pi seeks to dismantle regulations that prevent internet providers like Verizon, his former employer, from slowing traffic to websites whenever they wish. So what? Will it be the same rules? He says, well, it won't be, but we. I think the companies will voluntarily not discriminate against their competitors. Because that's what corporations do, right? They voluntarily 
don't compete with their competitors. Don't care. So Verizon, again, Ajit Pai's former employer, T-Mobile and AT&T, for example, collectively blocked 241 million consumers from using Google Wallet several years ago because the service competed with one that each had a financial stake in. I didn't hear that. Five years ago, AT&T blocked certain iPhone users from accessing FaceTime unless they upgraded to more expensive data plans. Nope, didn't hear it. All right, well, I think I've heard everything they've got to say here. Let's check out some Comments. Someone needs to assassinate this arrogant motherfucker. Oh, that's gonna cost you. Bullets equal solutions. That's gonna cost you. You need to be shot because this asshole is going to destroy freedom. That's gonna cost you. Please someone kill this devil. That's gonna cost you. Enjoy your porn while you can, everyone. Oh, all right, that explains why they're all so pissed. Someone just shoot Ajit Pai. Problem solved. That's gonna cost you. That's a nice shirt, Anna. Oh, and this guy makes money. Holy shit, that's the most death threats I think I've ever seen in a comment section. Just horrible etiquette going on here. And somebody's gotta go in there and remind these guys that words on the internet aren't like words out of your mouth where they just dissipate into the air and nobody knows that you said it. These stick around forever and they can get you in a lot of trouble. I guess that's my job to remind them, huh? All right, well, I got that. Fellow gentlemen of the internet, while death threats on any medium are as old as time itself, I implore that you find the restraint to convey your quite spirited distaste in a more constructive manner. For instance, if you think someone in power is out to dupe you for their own financial gain, wonder to yourself if perhaps a threat against their life is the appropriate statement to stamp on a public forum, given that such threats have led to pesky legal consequences all too many times in the past. May I suggest instead Dead, that you threaten to eat a popsicle like some country tart and heat and then send them the picture. Think with your minds, my boys, not your red-hot blood. Face not on fear, lest it be the fear of your own boy as he wonders if you are bouncing too hard upon his extremity and that it may snap at any moment. But may your aim remain true, thus upon the moment of mutual climax you can whisper into his ear, as ye pie looks like he can inflate the bottom part of his head to gain buoyancy. And post good, sir, yes! All right, solve that shit. Well, now let's hear from somebody who, like me, thinks net and is just a waste of time. It's not inconceivable, and I would tell you that someone will sue and it will become likely. Oh, Mark Cuban. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That guy's loaded. So if you're getting 100 to make it easy, um, six megabit channels um, of HD, that's six gigabytes. That's six gigabytes if you say, you know what, you can't just deliver all that um, for television, we want to open that up to the internet so all the Glenn Becks and Blazes can deliver their over-the-top video in an equal manner. Now all of a sudden you have 6.1 gigabits available in this example. You have to fracture it to everything. Yeah, and it's just open internet. Hell yeah, preach, dude. An interview like this is bound to pull in some fellow anti-net neutrality folks here. Mark Cuban is a fucking retard. Glenn Beck is a pile of shit. Suck my dick. Stop fucking with the internet. It's not yours. The blaze is legitimate as an elementary school's morning announcements. Get mad. Cable is dying. Can't tell what that guy's stance is. So if there's no priority for television and it's just part of the open internet and delivery, your traditional television watching the evening news, it's over. It's over, right? Fuck you, Mark, I'ma kill your family. Not really. Whoop, uh oh, now, yeah, see, now it's getting dark again. Choke on a fat dick and die. This is bad news. I don't like the music in the background. Fuck off, cunt. Oh, hey, I got a guy who comments that on all my videos, too. Fat, slimy, greedy, rich, piece of steamy shit. Oh, would you look at that? Just another terrible comment section from the pro net neutrality crowd. What happened to the tolerant pro net neutrality crowd, huh? What what about what happened to them? What about the what, what happened to the uh, tolerant uh, pro net neutrality guys, huh? What happened to them? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? I got a comment. What up, you broke bitches? I'm over here wondering what kind of internet Mark Cuban can afford when net neutrality's all gone. I bet it'll be sick, like 10 grand a month, and he can literally zap people through their computer monitors while he jerks off the Game of Thrones sex scenes as they film them. Though, you can tell Mark Cuban doesn't really jerk off a lot. He looks like he's got about 15 years worth of unbusted nuts wearing him down from the inside. It must be embarrassing whenever he drives over a pothole and pops one off in his pants. But yo, I get it, he's too busy making money, doing whatever he does. On that note, if you want to know how to tell if somebody jerks off too much, just look at Glenn Beck. That dude probably rubbed one out in his pocket while doing this interview. Glenn's definitely not the guy you want to discuss the internet with, by the way, considering he hasn't made a dime off this website since his entire audience died of old age five years ago. All right, you're welcome for the comment. Hey, Glenn, expect an invoice from me tomorrow morning for providing my services here. Everyone who reads this also owes me $9.11 because the government will never investigate it and I'm going to use it to go get gas. And a little Mark Twain quote on the bottom to show I'm smart. Free and open internet. There we go. And boom!
Ghost! All right, well, it's always great to hear from both sides, but ultimately the decision is not up to us as citizens and uh, customers. It's up to the people that we elect and then whoever they choose for the job. So let's see just where the FCC chairman, Ajit Pai, stands on the issue. FCC chair Ajit Pai explains why he wants to scrap net neutrality. By PBS NewsHour! But first things first, I'm gonna send him this pic of me getting silly with a popsicle. And tweet! And also play! So you, I understand, are not a fan of these uh, net neutrality rules from a few years ago. What, what is your principal concern? Well, I favor a free and open internet. Free and open! Oh, free and open! And as they put it, uh, these net neutrality regulations hang like a black cloud over our businesses. And so what we're trying to do going forward is figure out a way that we can preserve that free and open internet that yeah, consumers see, want Yeah, keep need. saying free and open. First, uh, if you look carefully, a lot of those companies don't say that they like Title II specifically, these particular regulations. What they say is that they care about the principles of a free and open internet. Free and motherfucking open, baby. Let's just say Comcast created a new TV series. And it just so happened that that competed with a Netflix series very similarly. If these rules go away, how is, the, how is there not an incredible incentive for Comcast to slow Netflix down coming into my house and make their video, the Comcast video, very robust? So under that hypothetical, one of the things that's important to remember is that it is a hypothetical. That we don't- well, Hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I gotta, I gotta pause this here. The uh, comments, as it turns out, are disabled. Well, son of a bitch. Good thing nobody's monitoring my bandwidth or else I would have wasted $4 watching that. And then again, if net neutrality wasn't around, I, I probably could have bought like a YouTube super token and left a comment anyway. Also, while we were watching that, I sent another Popsicle tweet. So I'm going to count that, and at the end of the day, there really is a much better way to send my support for the FCC, which is through the FCC website. Check it out. This is like the internet's version of a town hall meeting, only way easier for politicians to duck. Here, people can comment on the upcoming Restoring Internet Freedom Act that will finally cut down net neutrality. I already went and left a comment here, but I'm going to do it again because it's super easy. All you got to do is use a dead guy's name. So I'm going to go with... Roger Ailes, okay. Email frankengroper 6969 xrar at hotmail.biz. Address 742 Alivetown, Mississippi. City, Florida, state, Wisconsin. Zip, who cares? And my comment is just ASCII art of me seductively eating a popsicle. And submit! Hey, I've already done this a bunch of times, so trust me, it works. I just hope some pesky tech blog doesn't catch on to what I'm doing. Ah, oh, shit! Dead people mysteriously support the FCC's attack on net neutrality. Earlier this year, some reporters discovered that some of the biggest fans of the FCC's myopic assault on net neutrality, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right, fake news. All right, let's uh, see some comments. Here's one from Ray. I had to block Comcast several times on Twitter because they kept targeting me with anti-net neutrality propaganda. I had to write two angry messages to Twitter and flag them for harassment. Oh, I got a comment for this. Hey, Ray, Comcast here. Have you changed your mind about net neutrality yet? Did you know you can double your bandwidth for only $8 a month when you purchase a family phone line bundle? Looking forward to hearing back from you, Ray, but if not, we'll just throw Twitter a couple bucks so we can start tweeting at you again. They really need that money ever since Russia closed that checkbook. Please answer my phone calls or they're gonna throw my family in front of a train. Sincerely, China. And profit! Hey, good stuff. Now, I bet you're wondering what you can do to make sure net neutrality finally gets killed off when the time comes. And the answer is, keep doing what you're doing, which is nothing. Don't make any calls to your representative. Uh, don't sign this comment page. Don't let anyone in charge of this decision know in any way that you object to what's going on here. And I guarantee you a year from now, we're gonna look back on net neutrality like, oh yeah, remember that? You know, while we pay $3.99 a month for our Gmail accounts. But on the upside, you'll never have to worry about a YouTube video like this popping up ever again. So you see, I like the pudding. Pops. You'll see. Now you know if it costs money to upload YouTube videos, this would have never even been made. Sparta! Rudy, what is in my mouth? It's the no, no, no. This isn't why the internet was created. The internet was meant as a platform for corporations to shove advertising and paywalls down our throats. Not this freedom of expression. What the fuck is this? Rudy! This is great. More Crazy Bill Cosby. All right, well, I'm about to leave a comment that gets me a free month of Facebook.
Hey dipshit, how about you apologize for taking up precious YouTube bandwidth over here? Listen, you keep fucking around and I'm gonna purchase this YouTube account like some piece of shit car at a police auction then fill it with videos of me shaking koalas out of trees at the zoo. In case you didn't know, the zoo is a lot like the future of the internet where if you know whose palms degree, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I got to ride a hungry polar bear through the penguin habitat while dressed as Santa Claus. I've never seen so many kids screaming in my life. In addition, I helped a female tiger give birth but the baby came out all messed up because I also paid to be the father. Anyway, I hope your dad knows how to write you fat checks for when the internet turns into a cell phone contract full of ways to fuck us all so hard we start going outside to save money. And let's face it, it's gonna happen no matter what because all the people who should give a shit are too busy complaining about video game loot boxes. And post and hit this bitch with another popsicle. And that is how you do that. Now don't forget, even though net neutrality is still around, doesn't mean you can't still pay me on my Patreon page for exclusive fast lane content to exclusive lessons. This month's exclusive lesson is called Kids Corner. Hey, who wants to learn their alphabets? A is for apple, a, a, apple. B is for ball, b, b, ball. C is for cat, c, c, cat. D is for dog. So gather all the family around and start spending that money! Have you heard of Doctor of Net Neutrality? I have, maybe. Neutrality? I can't pronounce that shit, bro. Net Neutrality's nuts. Oh. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia, Sylvia. Montel. Crowley.